Hey guys. Hello. What do we got here? Sid uh, organ in progress. Yeah? What do we do? Um, we work on the fall board. And what part is that? That is above the keys, facing you and me. Yeah, and we also did that uh, grill cloth replacement last time, but it was kind of dark when we shot, so you couldn't see it very well. And uh, here you can see it much better. Thank goodness for the five o'clock sun. So let's take a closer look here. We have a new fall board. Schnitze. That actually took a lot longer than you would think. Because <laughs> we ended up having to get um, a lot of the parts from our local hardware store. Size it to fit and figure out how we were going to... Uh, Put it on the board and where are you gonna fit it? So oh. I think we used pine, was it? Yeah, just cheap pine. So we got the pine here and it's got uh grow cloth on it to match the lower section. And what we added was this aluminum angle bar in here. And we're gonna take this apart and show you guys exactly how we did it. Okay, so we took the top off, and just getting a better view here of the board itself right here, and the angled loom. One of the important things to note here is that we didn't want to attach it to the case because this unit pulls conveniently out and I can work on it outside of its case. Mm -hmm. So we wanted to make sure that we attach the fall board to the manual assembly rather than to the case Correcto. to make it much easier to work on. Right, otherwise every single time we wanted to work on the uh, assembly we would have to unscrew this fall board first and then deal with everything else. So. And uh, what we did here, if you take a look back on the back, we've got a couple of uh, washers underneath this and a bolt. The reason why the washers are there is to give it enough height to clear the top of these keys because they actually move when you press the keys. And if we would have put it down flush with the top of this board, then it would have clunk, clunk, clunk as the keys came back up. Yep. And there's also, if you bring the camera down a bit and look underneath, you'll see that there's a another bolt up in front that raises the fall board up to the exact height that we wanted it to hold it in place while we figured out where all of these mounting points were going to be. Mm -hmm. so it's all very perfect. Yes. That took a little bit of finagling to figure out, so... And we did have another a couple of questions on the last video. Um, I wanted to cover a little bit more on this. What's that? This is a bunch of shift registers. Uh, if you guys have not gone back to the earlier videos when we've demonstrated this, these are a uh, daisy chain of five shift registers. And these are all pull-down resistors. And every single key on this keyboard goes to one of the eight pins on each of these. Mm -hmm. And what these guys do, down this cable, you can connect that to your microcontroller and serially figure out what is the state of every single one of the switches. So that's five times eight binary bits. Mm -hmm. And there's 37 keys on here, so we have a few left over. Mm -hmm. And uh, those will go to a switch on the interface, and there's two foot pedals down below. Yep. Take a look uh, here. You can see the back of the foot pedals. And you got some wires coming up out of here. We need to figure out the pin out, if you will, on all these so that we can make use of the pedals that go through there. We also had a question about the speaker. The guy who actually made SIGCOG was asking us if we were going to add tweeters because this did not look like a, a uh, full range speaker. This is a full range speaker. It's a 12 inch full range loudspeaker. It's not a subwoofer. Mm -hmm. This is the same kind of speaker that was in this organ before and in our Hammond organs, etc. It can do high frequencies. It can do them very well and very loudly. It's just not very efficient at it. We're okay with that because we're going to put a big amplifier in here. Okay. All right, and I think that covers that. 
cool. And uh, we'll uh, update you guys as we make progress. Indeed. Bye. Bye. We post videos all the time, so don't forget to subscribe. And follow us on Twitter at TYMKRS.